The Thanksgiving game is just one of five the Lions have left in the 2019 regular season. As we take a look at the upcoming schedule brought to you by Ticketmaster, we see that the Lions still have to take trips to Minnesota and Denver while they will welcome the Bears, Bucks, and Packers to Ford Field. As for that Thanksgiving game, those that get to play in it for the first time on Thursday are looking forward to it. This is going to be a really cool experience. I'm really excited about it. Um, obviously, the tradition, the history behind you know, playing here in Ford Field and, and, and just playing in Detroit every Thanksgiving day, just, uh, you know, uh, it's a tremendous opportunity. It's an amazing tradition and a great opportunity just to experience that. And um, like you said, it's a long history of playing that game. And so being able to experience that with my family coming up and with everyone else here on the, on the team and all the other coaches, it's just going to be a great feeling. And being able to go home and have a meal with my family and everything is going to be great. I came from a football family. Uh, so, you know, we watch football any chance, any, anytime we got the chance. So, you know, it just so happens that every Thanksgiving, you know, someone's always playing. And, you know, it was always the line. So we, was always, we always had that. Uh, that game on TV, um, you know, my father, you know, having played football, my co all my cousins play football, we're a football family, so anytime we get together, you know we watch this football, they're talking about it in some sense. Um, so, you know, that'll be, that, that's real dope that, that, I'm, uh, that I'll be able to be a part of that. I think it'll be all our first times uh, getting to play an actual game on Thanksgiving. Um, I do miss uh, getting to play with my brothers on, uh, we call it Fat Man Football. So uh, those are our Thanksgiving traditions. Um, but I don't know, it's going to be a great time and um, hopefully we have a good turnout. Things will get started early on Thursday morning for those involved in putting on the parade downtown. Thankfully for them, there's a plan in place to help things go as smoothly as possible to make sure it's an enjoyable time for everyone. Matt Patricia has a plan in place for the Chicago offense, and he's back with us now to let us know which players his team needs to focus on. Well, I mean, certainly we know how explosive they are. They're just uh, very dynamic. They've got great skilled players. Uh, Allen Robinson is, he, you know, he's one of the best receivers in the league. He certainly comes up big uh, in big moments of the game and something they can rely on to, uh, you know, to go to. And I think that the uh, chemistry be between him and uh, Trubisky just continually grows and they trust each other. And, uh, you know, it's just really hard to defend against. 86 yards from Robinson in that last game against the Bears. So you know you got to look out for him, and we see how dangerous he is in this play. Yeah, you can really see his route running ability. And uh, what they're doing is they're doing a really good job here of uh, moving him around, putting him in different positions. You're actually going to see him in the slot position right here. He's the number two receiver. They use a little bit of motion to kind of distract the defense and make the defense uh, get some adjustments. But it's all about matchups for them. Usually most defenses, they'll uh, leave a single guy inside or they might travel a corner. But in this particular case, uh, they get a good matchup. They kind of push it into the hash. And you can see Robinson right here is just very dynamic at the top of the route. So just a guy that can really uh, have those movements, those explosive movements to create separation. The DB's in a lot of trouble here. He's trying to get his hips right and just breaks across the formation. The ball is up high where he knows uh, Robinson is going to be able to go get it, gets it over the, the underneath defender, and he catches it. And then, you know, his run after catch is just phenomenal. So uh, explosive player, can change field position in one play. He's a great route runner, uh, trusted by the quarterback. And the quarterback does a good job here off of the play action, moving within the pocket, finding space to deliver the throw downfield. Again, coming out with his back to the defense, uh, Trubisky right there. He's moving the middle of the field safety right here with his eyes, trying to influence him out to the right, knowing that, you know, Allen Robinson's going to cut across the field over here to the left and they, you know, get a big play out of it. What did you see from Trubisky in this game against the Giants? Uh, I think, again, just, you know, his continual growth. I think one of the things they did against the Giants really well was went back to some of the things that had they had done previously. Uh, there's some up-tempo, uh, definitely some no-huddle, and uh, they change a lot of personnel groupings. They go in and out of uh, personnel. Maybe it's just single one-for-one -one substitutions or maybe multiple substitutions, but definitely saw his ability to be very comforted at the line of scrimmage, to be able to change the plays, some check with me's, audibles, things like that that they've done in the past that maybe we didn't see before. We see him find uh, Tariq Cohen for a touchdown in this next play, which also happened in that game a few weeks ago. Yeah, another dynamic player. I think Cohen is one of the most unique players in the NFL right now. I think his ability to run the ball, to be able to get out as a slot receiver, or also just, you know, catch it out of the backfield. This is certainly an area of the field where he has a lot of production, uh, you know, in the fringe, high red area. They give him on a little bit of a short shuffle motion. They're trying to get the matchup on the linebacker here, kind of stack him just enough here on Robinson to get a, bit, a little bit of a natural pick uh, for the linebacker. He fights through that. 
Uh, Cohen kind of gives him a little bit of a stutter at the line of scrimmage and then really runs the wheel route. And honestly, the linebacker is in great position right here. He's got to run and obviously defend through the hands. But, you know, one of the things unique about Cohen, he's got great uh, ball skills. He can just kind of hold his hands to the last minute and he kind of just turns around and catches the back shoulder without even flashing his hands. It's really difficult to defend against and uh, something that's, uh, you know, makes him so dangerous. How do you defend a player like that? You know, obviously we got to have high awareness on him. Um, you know, the thing about him on this particular play, you know, he's working the sideline. So it's like, okay, you just want to try to force him to the sideline. But you'll see a lot of plays where he works the middle or he's going to come across. He really goes everywhere. And that's one of the things that's so difficult from that standpoint, why he's such a dynamic guy. That just about wraps up our special Thanksgiving edition of Lions Game Plan. Whether you're going to the parade, going to the game, having dinner with family, or maybe all three, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving holiday. I'm Tori Petrie. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Who do I have to talk to to hitch ride on this one? <laughs>